Hey guys, so in this video, a guy named Rob asked me to uh, give him some insight on starting a business. And I just go deep, man. I go deep on, on what it is that you need to do. It's a great video, man. Check it out. Basically, you want to start your holster company because of what you've seen from other holster companies. That's great. That's, that's a great way to start. Um, and you're doing it right. You're making holsters for yourself and locally. And that's the way I started. You know, one of the biggest mistakes that people make in I'm going to start my own business is they go all in and they don't even have customers yet. You got to do the legwork in the beginning. You, you've got to eat dog food, man. And just go out there and knock on door. That's what I was doing. Local gun stores. Hey, man, you guys are interested in my holster? You know what I was doing? I was going... I live in a fairly big area. You know, the valley's pretty big. So there's a lot of gun stores. There's a lot of gun shops. And I didn't hit them all because I, I it, it almost, it became to where I didn't need to because I was also on, on eBay. I started selling on eBay, man. I started selling holsters on eBay. But before I started selling holsters on eBay, I started making them for myself. We started a security team at our church and I felt that we needed better holsters and that's when I just started. I've always been a guy that tinkered in the garage, and so I started messing around with stuff in the garage and came up, you know, with, with what we have now, a Bravo Concealment Holster. Obviously, it was a custom. They don't look like this. They didn't look like this, you know. They were, they were the old style, man, and, you know, back then where you, there wasn't a, a website where you could go get everything. Like the Kydex, you had to buy it from someplace. Uh, the eyelets, you had to buy them from, from somewhere else. Um, the hardware you had to buy from somewhere else. I mean, it was just, it was crazy, but we started doing it. I started doing it. My wife would help me a little bit. And I started, I started giving them away. I would go to the gun stores and I'd see the guys behind the counter and they were wearing like surplus or whatever. And I'd make these holsters and I'm like, dude, if I give you this holster, will you wear it? They're like, yeah, man, that's pretty cool. All right, man. So I'd give it to them and they'd wear it. And then people would ask him like, hey, what kind of holster is that? Oh, it's a local guy. And I drop off business cards and oh, it's right there. And I start getting phone calls, start getting emails. And I, that's the way Bravo started. And I had my job and I was working my job, staying up late, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, having to wake up at 5.30 in the morning, get the kids, take them to school because my wife had to stay home with our baby and get home and start working. It was like that for two years. It's it's still like that. I'm working right now. I'm just not bending kydex, but I'm working, man. You got to love what you do, man. You have to. If you're chasing the money, if you're chasing the fame and all that, forget it, man. You're going to lose. You're going to lose before you get out of the gate. You got to love what you do. That's why I say, guys, I am the luckiest man alive. I love what I do. I love it, man. Regardless of good or bad, I, it's just... I just have this passion for it. And I hope you do as well, Rob. I hope I hope that it's within you because it, it, it is hard work. There's there's no magical pill that, oh man, you know, I take it and I'm good and, and everything's good. No, it doesn't work that way, man. It doesn't. Uh, you gotta go out there, you gotta grind it out, man. There's no way around that. And you know, if you're married, you know, you, you need to have a wife that, that's gonna support you. My wife to this day supports me. You know, she's in our bedroom. She's in the bedroom right now. She's doing her thing. Probably be nice if, you know, we're sitting down and watching a movie. It's Friday night or maybe go out, go out to dinner or something. But this is what I got to do. This is what I have to do. This is what I want to do. And she knows that. This is what I want to do. You know, my family makes me happy. I love them. But I need to do this. Not because I have to. I need to because I want to. This is what brings me this is what brings me joy. My family brings me joy as well. But this is what I was made for. Whatever it is in my head and my DNA. And this isn't new. She knew that because when I was working at the post office, I get home and I tinker on, on my scout. I had a scout too, a 1973 scout. Right hand drive. Awesome, man. You know, and I took that little inline six and I put a 350 engine uh with a 400 transmission i just i it wasn't four by i turned it into four went out bought the parts i was going to west texas buying dana axles 
I mean, I just, it was in me, man. And so, again, Rob, you can do it, man. You just need to go in there and go all in and close your ears and stay focused because you're going to hear a lot of people saying, what are you doing? Don't do that. Don't do this. I was getting that when I was building cars in my backyard. What are you doing, man? Just pay somebody to do it. It's not that. It's just I love doing it, man. I painted a car in my backyard. And I'm talking about paint gun and everything, compressor. Like, and it not there wasn't a shop in my backyard. I turned it. I made, like, guys, so for me to say, if I can do it, anybody can do it, I don't know. I don't know if it's in you or not. It's got to be in you. But if it is in you, yes, you can do it. Because then now I can say, because if I can do it, you can do it. But it's got to be in you. If you like sitting down on the couch and watching Netflix all day and eating a bag of chips and that makes you happy, go for it, man. Do it. But don't complain, man. Because that's what makes you happy. You lie on the bed that you make. Bottom line, end of story. That's it. And so you know, you know what you're getting yourself into. Rob, much luck, man. I hope everything goes well. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. DM me, bro. Instagram, Snapchat. Snapchat, we're under Bravo Holsters. 